already um, built our binaries, right? And so dr the driver is our binary. So right here is our binary. Okay. So what we're gonna do is the prerequisite is GDB. So you can do a apt dash dash git install GDB. Okay. Our goal is to learn how to troubleshoot our programs without using GUIs and all that and also learn how to reverse engineer binaries that's built for Linux systems. Um, so, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the GDB. So we're gonna type GDB, and then uh, what we wanna do is we want to, now there's two, let's go with debugging. So uh, let's call the uh, driver. Matter of fact, let's quit and let's go GDB driver. Okay, now we have the driver. So now let's uh, go run. And remember, we had a main function in there. Let's run main. So it runs our main, but you know, this is zero. You do the same thing you will run as the driver without saying the driver file. So if I could go one, two, three, four, and it debugs the program. So any issues, you can see it right here, if you wanna get more detail without going through GCC compile every time. So you can be developing on one side and running the GDB constantly, okay? <clears throat> so now let's talk about disassembly. So you have two flavors. Um, which by default is in AT&T. So if we say this is AT&T's um, um, syntax, okay? So this is, if we say disassemble and the function we want to disassemble, okay? And the main function. Okay, so right here is, look like an at and This is at t version. So now let's change it to Intel, okay? So let's see if I can get a paste in there. You'll set disassembly flavor to Intel, and then you run disassemble, and whatever the function name is, which is main, and we get the disassembly uh, code out of that. We can reverse engineer. We can see everything that's going on. We have the memory addresses. We have all everything about this. And pay attention to this right here because there's a difference between EDX and RDX. Um, one of them is 32-bit. One is 64-bit. Okay, And that's it. Uh, just go and explore the command line a bit. Uh, play around with it, see what you can disassemble, and then just have fun with it.